the flame calls to me, not by its warmth or its pumpkin spiced aroma, but by its desire for calamity and destruction. children are traumatized one of the ways they cope with it is to soothe themselves and then that's where addictions come in but another way to cope would be is if you get the message that you're not good enough that you are not worthy enough then you might spend the rest of your life trying to prove that you are and how do you do that by being very nice to everybody by never saying how you feel because they might not like how you feel by never expressing healthy anger when somebody's crossing your boundaries. By working too hard to prove that you're worthwhile. That's why I was a workaholic doctor, because I got the message as an infant, as a Jewish infant under the Nazis in the Second World War. I got the message that the world didn't want me, I wasn't good enough. Are you sure you want more? Because I have it. I'll have more. I got lots of teeth and eyeballs now. So what's creepier than an eyeball surrounded with teeth? I'd say that's pretty creepy. It's like the eyeballs peeking out of someone's mouth. Ooh, look, I have chills. Do you think this creature has an eyeball in its mouth? Or did it swallow somebody with an eyeball? Or maybe it swallowed its own eyeball. Or, or hold on, it's an eyeball on a creature and they implanted teeth around it. For beauty purposes? I don't know. I guess it doesn't need a story. It can just be creepy on its own. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. The tooth is, I think it looks breathtaking. Though if we don't see eye to eye on this, it's understood and I don't have any more eye puns. I tried to do something with irony, but I couldn't do it. Unless I couldn't do it. No, that's not good either. I should definitely not be a comedian.
so you're an artist. Yeah. Are you good at it? Every time he leave me long, he always tell me he miss it. He wanna F R E A K F R E A K. Shadows Circumcise my love for you It's far too little teapot. I got it for $6.99 at Sabres. I like the rose on top and it does not say where it was made. Strange. And you all know my fear. One of these days something's gonna jump out. I just know it. So I developed a technique. I call it shake it till it dies and it looks like nothing's in here. Hey, better safe than sorry. Let's sand it down and paint it. And I'm trying something new here. I'm gonna attempt to bake the paint on. So while that's baking, let's deal with the top. I'm not exactly a fan of pink, so we're going red. Yep, much better than pink. Oh yeah, it looks yummy. Now for the bottom part. I love spray paint. Okay, I painted this a 
little too soon after taking it out of the oven because I melted my brush, but I couldn't wait. My ADHD could not wait. It had to paint it now, but it's fine. I have plenty of brushes. Actually, this isn't even the first time this has happened. Okay, first I fill up the teapot with some aluminum foil, and then I realized that was a mistake and I took it out. It was moving around a little too much, so I hot glued it in, and then I smashed it in with this brush and topped it off with my air dry clay, just flattening it out with my official flattener. Since air dry clay takes forever to dry, I'm talking like one or two days, like whole days. I'm gonna work on the outside and I'm gonna go with a different theme on this one. It's not quite as creepy as my other stuff, but don't worry, I'm not taking all the creep out of it. And can we just stop and appreciate how Mod Podge's logo has not changed? It looks like it's straight out of the 60s and I'm here for it. Okay, can't forget the undercarriage. I waited a whole four hours for this air dry clay to dry before I painted this. Was it dry? No. Do I care? No. Did it work? Sort of. Actually, I don't know because I immediately covered it up with this grass. So I just jammed it inside. I mean, I definitely glued it. And by glue it, I mean I took it back out and poured some resin and then jammed it back inside. Check out my tiny typewriter. It's pretty cute, but I feel like we could make it cuter. Rust makes everything look better. And of course, a few other details. No, oh, look how cute it is. Okay, I know this video is getting pretty long, so I'll speed through these next parts. I added the typewriter. I painted these cute little fish. I poured in some resin. I added the cute little fish. Boop, boop, and boop. All right, looking pretty cute. It just needs one more layer of resin. Now our fish are swimming. So the first paint job was questionable. Sometimes I make poor choices. There, nobody will know. I wish life's mistakes were this easy to fix. And I really wanted to add some ink drips because you know, it's a typewriter and there's book pages, but I really need to tie in this rose. That's why the red. So red ink, red other substance, you decide. And there it is, another teapot to add to my teapot collection. I think it's kind of cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Sometimes artists get really thirsty and tired when we're drawing, so we have to have some caffeine. I'm gonna have a monster and then crush the can like a mean bastard. I'm drawing a cat and a skull. Some people say, oh, you're bloody weird, you. You're always drawing weird stuff like cats and skulls, you weirdo. And I say, hey, listen up, mate. Just leave me to my weird fucking ways, okay? I'd rather be weird then be a dickhead like you I know the mother guys They've been talking about The way I do what I do They heard I was good They wanna see if it's true
Howdy humans, it is me Chase and we are doing a special long video today. Uh, it is part one of the mural I've been working on at uh, River City Gallery. It is a art gallery in with La Crosse, Wisconsin. Um, and so yeah, thanks, thanks to them for letting me paint their bathroom. Get to watch me stand on a toilet and you get to look at a toilet for uh, a good two minutes or so. Um, and also, again, thanks to them for giving me complete creative control over this mural. So I just winged it. Uh, in the beginning, though, I started off with a general idea. Um, kind of sketched it out with a pencil at first. Just, I don't know, I wasn't comfortable with winging it right away. Uh, but after a little bit, about an hour or so, I started to get pretty comfortable and just uh, went with the flow of things uh, and the angles that I was making. And the marker, paint marker that I'm using is uh, a Montana black uh, paint marker. And it works amazing. It's so good. It's lovely. Uh, so my plan for this mural is to cover the entire uh, wall space in this uh, sort of modge podge of doodles and junk and color those hidden flowers that are all over the place um, and I'm doing this like uh, white space flow through it um, I guess I really don't know how else to describe it but you yeah, know I hope you like it it's super fun and very relaxing to just uh, just draw what I want on a wall you know uh, I'm, it's really nice. So far, it's pretty hypnotizing when you walk in there. It's pretty cool. Um, but I'll have part two coming out pretty soon. I just haven't filmed enough yet. And um, I really wanted to film, kind of have a little clip at the end, but I just have a little photo of what I've got done so far. But I really hope you like it. Um, today's drawing video will still be out uh, relatively soon here. But I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and listening to me. Blah.